Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and welcome back to Managing the Score Manager. Today, we're taking a look at version 27 and what's been improved in the percussion instruments and the percussion layouts specifically. So let's take a look at the score manager. And uh, I just want to talk about the instrument list here. And basically what Finale did in 27 is they, they did a lot of work reworking sort of the, the instruments within this list, not just the percussion, but all of the other categories, the woodwinds, brass strings, etc. Uh, in terms of like correcting mistakes, either spelling mistakes or, you know, sometimes the instrument would call up the wrong transposition, the wrong clef. Um, just things like that. They did a lot of work cleaning this up, and I would like to believe that they did some research in order to do this, which will hopefully make, particularly some of the ethnic instruments, I'm assuming, there's a lot of respellings of these things, and I'm assuming that, um, you know, what they've respelled them to is more accurate and, and more correct and all that stuff, which is cool. But specifically talking about the percussion instruments today, there's a few things I noticed, and I did compare these lists uh, for pitched percussion, drums, and percussion between version 27 and 26, and I did notice a few things that might be worth mentioning. Uh, the first thing is in the pitched percussion section, the flexitone doesn't exist here anymore. They moved it to, to the percussion section, which seems to make more sense to me. Uh, there is an instrument here called the hang which previously only had this treble clef version. There is now a grand staff version of the hang instrument. Um, the other major thing is that the taiko drums are no longer in the pitched percussion section. They now exist in the drum section, uh, which seems to make more sense because they are indeed drums. In the drum section, there used to be two instruments here called log drum and African log drum. They've been sort of reduced to one instrument called the log drum and it's been moved to the percussion section. It's no longer in the drum section. So somewhere in here is the log drum, and the African log drum is redundant to that, I guess. Uh, I noticed that there was an instrument called the Arabian frame drum, which is now missing. It may not be missing. It may actually have a different name that I don't know what it is. Um, so it might have been a duplicate, but that's no longer there. There's an instrument called Kalunga, if I can find that, or Kalungu, K something. There it is, Kalungu. This seems to be new, and one at the bottom called Zhao Tangu. This is, seems to be new to me as well, at least comparing the two lists. Um, in the percussion section, they have renamed the Jingle Bells to Sleigh Bells, which is much more appropriate because Jingle Bells is not actually an instrument. Um, there used to be an instrument in here called the Whip, which has been removed because it's, that's basically the slapstick. There really isn't an instrument called the Whip. It's just the slapstick sounds like the whip. That's what's going on. There's also this instrument called the Aeolian harp, which is missing from this list. And I believe, again, it's probably called something else that was already in here. Um, so, But the Aeolian harp is no longer here. And there is a, a new instrument called, uh, where is it? Changila, or Changila, uh, which has been added as well. Um, so yeah, so there you go. So just a few minor changes, nothing major. Um, I think, you know, moving the tycos to the drums and the flexitone to the non-pitched thing and the log drum to the percussion section is probably the, the major things that you, uh, you might need to be aware of. So perhaps the bigger deal with the percussion improvements in the score manager actually has to do with the percussion layouts. And if I open up the percussion layout selection dialog box now, you can see just how many percussion layouts now exist uh, in this file. And this is the default file basically in Finale. So just a ton of new percussion layouts, which is sorely needed because let me just show you what the old percussion layouts uh, section looked, uh, window looked like. And this was it out of the box. There's maybe 25 or 30 uh, instruments here. And the other problem is that um, a lot of times in version 26, the instrument that you would call upon in the score manager would call up the wrong percussion layout. This is a huge problem all the time. I was constantly correcting the percussion layout itself or going in here and choosing this, the right one. You know, for example, when you add a one line triangle instrument in version 26, it would call up the percussion toys layout, which is up here. But the percussion toys layout is a five line layout that had the triangle all the way above the staff, the five line staff, which means that it was way above the one line staff that you had in your score. So you had to go in here and find the one line triangle staff. It was just sort of a huge pain in the neck and it was, you know, not, not really great. And even you would add certain instruments, it would add percussion layouts to the bottom of the list. So here's what happens. It even added another drum set layout, which doesn't make any sense because it already exists. 
It added a bell tree, brake drum, and clapper layout when I added those instruments in version 26, but then it wouldn't choose them. So you'd add the brake drum and it would choose like the orchestral percussion or something. So you'd have to go in here and then add, choose the right one that it just added. It didn't make any sense, but I can tell you from what I've been able to play around with in 27, this is vastly improved. So when you add an instrument now, let's just add, you know, something, uh, the tambourine you will see that you'll get the percussion toys sound, but you will get the uh, one-line tambourine percussion layout. And in fact, you do have a one-line tambourine staff, which is what you want, right? Uh, we can add something else. Let's just add finger cymbals, for example, and this will probably do the same thing. This pulls up the basic Middle East percussion sound set, but it gives you the finger cymbal percussion layout, which again, if you look at it, has several sounds that exist on the middle line. So this is absolutely correct now and I have to say I haven't tested all of these percussion instruments so I can't say with certainty that you know this is a hundred percent accurate right now but I can tell you that it's way improved I mean every time I've added an instrument it's given me the correct uh, percussion layout and the, the correct setup with the one line versus five line staff so um, for people that do a lot of stuff with percussion this is going to be a very welcome fix indeed now they did add a couple or three actually new sounds to the Garrison instrument for finale set. Um, they added a bell tree patch, which which will uh, appear when you ask for a bell tree uh, instrument. They added a clapper sound, which will be selected when you call on the slapstick. And they also added a flexitone patch. These are the only three sounds that they added to the Garrison instruments for finale in, in 27. Um, just the bell tree, the clapper, and the flexitone. And incidentally, the bell tree. Uh, is not only a bell tree, but there's also a mark tree in this patch. I think there's like eight or nine uh, notes right around middle C. I think five or six of them are the mark tree, and then two of them are the bell tree. So this is the bell tree slash mark tree sound. Um, other than that, the other major thing they did was it related to the fusion drum kit. This used to be a problem because this fusion drum kit, the volume was always so low. It was always such a problem. It never balanced with anything. And this was one thing they corrected. They boosted the volume of the fusion drum kit significantly so that it now definitely blends a lot better. I did some testing on this to check it out, and it's definitely way more in the ballpark in terms of balancing with other instruments. So that will be an, another great improvement that I think people will appreciate um, with the uh, Garrison instruments. And then the last thing I want to talk about is the implementation of Smufel and how that affects the percussion notation. So I'm just going to zoom in here on my drum set part and just take a look at these X note heads for the crash symbol. If you're used to how this looks in Finale 26 and previously, you'll notice that these X note heads, these open X note heads, look a little bit different. In fact, the half note X note head and the whole note X note head are, are very subtly different. The half note is shaded a little bit more at the angles versus the, the whole note version. Um, the Smufels uh, set actually has a whole bunch of extra note heads, and um, by default, Finale has chosen a couple different ones for those open X note heads. So I'm just going to go in here and check this out to kind of show you what's going on. Drum set settings, edit to pull up the percussion layout designer. And so we can see within the crash symbol, if we ch click on where it says half note head, if we click select, we can actually, s it'll take us right to where that uh, half open X note head is. And this is the new one. And you can see that there's a version for the half note head, the whole note head, and the double whole note head. And uh, as opposed to before, where you just had one uh, open X note head, it, it kind of looks something like this. And you could still use this if you want. You could actually use this one instead of these three. Uh, if you prefer to have it look the old way. If you want the true legacy version of this, by the way, it's in the alternates and extras section over here on the left, somewhere about halfway down. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Uh, there it is. It's this guy right here. Uh, the Unicode character is F612. Um, that's the old version of the Open X note head. Um, but uh, so yeah, so they, they kind of did a little bit of uh, interesting changes here with the X note head. Incidentally, what I also really like is that these Smufel fonts now have a different type of open X note head. And in fact, if I go up here, you'll see that there's sort of this new hollow X note head. And there's a version for the half note head, the whole note, and the double whole note. So this is an interesting option. And I'm kind of digging this a little bit. And I might actually uh, implement these uh, in my next scores. So, let me just show you what this looks like in the score. So there's the half. We'll set that there for the whole note. We'll go up here and set this one. 
for the double whole note, we'll go up here and set this one. And I hopefully I did that on the crash symbol. Yes, so it will appear on my score. And I'm just going to zoom in here so you can see this. Yeah, so now you can see that you have those sort of hollow X note heads, which is kind of cool looking. I'm kind of digging that. Um, it's an option if you want to do that. Uh, you know, again, this is just one of the things that Smufel has uh, has brought to us for uh, percussion specifically. And let's go in here and take a look at this again, just to kind of look at some of the other note heads that are here. You have these plus symbols. Um, the, the triangles are a little bit different. They're sh kind of shaded uh, differently for half hole and double hole and stuff. Different kind of triangles. Um, a lot of the stuff was in the old per Maestro Percussion font, but uh, again, all of this is part of one font now, which is, of course, uh, really handy. So yeah, just a whole bunch of different types of note heads that are uh, now available to you. And by default, uh, in the new percussion layout for the drum set specifically, they did choose two interesting things here for the snare rim shot. Now has the note heads with the uh, diagonal cross through it, and the snare ghost stroke now has the parentheses around it, which is kind of cool. So uh, when you add those things in your score with the drum set layout out of the box, if I can do this, layer two, let's find, there's the rim shot, there's the ghost stroke, and uh, you'll see that uh, it will put it in automatically and it's all uh, appropriately set up so the stem is in the right spot, the parentheses are in the right spot. If you remember before, the way that we really did this was to actually do this uh, parentheses as articulations, which is kind of a pain in the neck. Um, but this is much better in my opinion. And it's all part of the Smoofle environment now. So this is you know, one of the benefits of having the Smoofle fonts uh, available to us in Finale. Now, one other thing just to tidy up this conversation about Smeeful and the percussion layout selection and the percussion layout designer box. The one thing that gets a little bit tricky is now, you know, in the interface here, we have these things where normally we could type, like I could type X here to get an X note head. You can't really do that anymore because the Smeeful fonts work differently. You have to type uh, a hex Unicode input which I showed you how to do in one of the in previous videos, you can set up your computer to type Unicode hex input. And the way that that works is that once you have that set up, you hold down option and then type those four digit characters. It's kind of a pain because you'd have to memorize what they are for all of these things. One little quick tip that I can give you is that these are still copyable and pasteable. So if I were to just take this half note head, even though they all look the same, they still have the, the same question marks. I can just copy that, go to the crash symbol two, paste it, paste it here, etc. So this is a could be a, a slightly quicker way to make sure that you're um, creating the same type of X's if you're going to do something along these lines. Um, these characters, even though they all look the same and they're not typable really, uh, they do copy and paste uh, just fine. It's sort of a byproduct, honestly, of you know introducing the Smoofle fonts and into a user interface that kind of looks like this and has this type of thing. It's totally fine. I mean, it's you know it is what it is. It's just something that um, something that we'll just have to kind of uh, get used to for now until maybe they figure out another way to to implement this. But anyway, so that is, you know, the smoofle in the uh, percussion layouts. I, th I think there's some really nifty stuff that, that uh, can now be done uh, very easily within Finale. All right, so I think that covers it. That's, you know, the version 27 updates and the improvements to the percussion instruments and the layouts and the layout design and everything. So, uh, yeah, I hope this has helped. Um, you know, once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you soon on the next video.